Hello everyone. Let us find out whether the sum of the two periodic signals will be the periodic signal or not. So for that, first of all find out what is the periodic signal. What do you mean by the periodic signal? Any signal which is having some pattern and it will be repeated continuously after a particular interval of time that signals will come under the periodic signals. As I said, some signals which is having some pattern. So some pattern that will follow some signals. That signals will be your nothing but sinusoidal signal, your cos signal, your triangular signal and square signal. These are nothing but the signals which is having some pattern. They will follow some pattern and it will be repeated continuously after every interval of time, every particular interval of time. Time. So such signals will come under your periodic signals. Your sinusoidal wave, your cosine wave, square wave, triangular wave, these signals will come under the periodic signals. So when we add these signals, so what we will get, whether we will get the periodic signal or not, let us find out. For that, consider the two signals here. Here one signal is given as f of t, which is nothing but your sin t. And your g of t that is equals to cos 2t. Here sine and cos are nothing but your periodic signals. So if we add these two signals, so we will get the periodic or not. So addition of these two is nothing but your h of t. The output of the addition of these two signals will be your h of t. So h of t is equals to f of t plus g of t. For finding the signal is periodic or not, some steps we have to follow here. So first of all, one condition, so that signal must satisfy. So the condition will be H of T, that is your total output must be equals to H of T plus minus T. If any signal will satisfy this condition, in that case, that signal will be the periodic signal. And if suppose that signal is not following this condition, that means that signal will be your non-periodic signal. So here, as we are adding these two signals, so we have to consider here the plus sign. So what we have to do, we have to find out H of T must be equals to H of T plus capital T. What is this T? This T is nothing but your fundamental time period, which is nothing but the total time period, which is the addition of these two signals. Whatever, when we add these two signals, whatever will the time period comes out, that time period will be your, that is your fundamental time period. What we have to do, we know H of T, H of T is nothing but addition of these two signals. So what we have to find out, H of T plus T, whether this will come out here equals to H of T or not. For that, we have to find out the value of this T. How we will find out the value of T? Follow the process. What is that process? Consider the signals individually first. First of all, consider the f of t individually. So for that, find out the time period. Let us say that time period is denoted by t1. And for finding here that time period, the formula will be 2 pi by omega. So here, what is the value of omega? In this signal, the value of omega will be 1. Substitute the value of omega here. What we will get? That t1 is equals to 2 pi. Similarly, for the second signal, find out the time period. How we will find out the time period? That t2 is equals to 2 pi by omega. In this case, what is the value of omega? Omega is nothing but 2. After substituting the value, we will get the value as t2 is equals to pi. Now, individually, we are having the value of the time period that is t1 that is equals to 2 pi and t2 that is equals to pi. Now, for finding the value of t, what we have to do? We have to take the ratio of these two time periods. That is t1 by t2. After substituting the values, we will get as 2 by 1, which is nothing but denoted by m by n. And if we cross multiply this equation, what we will get? n t1 is equals to m t2, that is equals to your total time period t. So here for finding the value of t, we have to equate this t to this signal or you can say this t can be equated to this part also. So here if we equate to any one of these we will get the value of t. So here for finding the value of t we are taking that t is equals to n into t1. We are equating to this quantity fine. 
So what is the value of n here? In this equation, you can see the value of n will be 1. And what is the value of t1? t1 is nothing but your 2 pi. Substitute the values, we will get the time period that t is equals to 2 pi. This is how we will get the time period that is t is equals to 2 pi. Now, what we have to find out? We have to find out h of t plus capital T. Here, we have to add 2 pi here. So, in this complete, we have to add the 2 pi that is t is equals to 2 pi. Here, when we add h of t plus 2 pi, that means in your original output of the signal, what is the original output of the signal? That is h of t is equals to sine t plus cos 2t. In this equation, what we have to do? We have to add t plus 2 pi. So here, in this complete equation also, we have to add t plus 2 pi. So here, what we have to do? For finding h of t plus 2 pi, add 2 pi here. What we will get? sin t plus 2 pi cos 2 this 2 will remain as it is and we will we have to add t plus 2 pi so here t plus 2 pi after solving we will get this equation so in this case sin 2 pi plus theta is nothing but your sin theta and cos 4 pi plus theta is nothing but your cos theta so what is the value of theta here? That is nothing but your t. What is the value of theta here? That is nothing but your 2t. So the final answer we will get as h of t plus 2 pi that is equals to sin t plus cos 2t. But we know that this is nothing but your original output that is your h of t. That means this is equals to your h of t. So here your condition is satisfied. What is that condition? That h of t is equals to h of t plus capital T. So whenever the signal is satisfying this condition, that means that signal is nothing but your periodic signal. So we can say that the addition of these two signals, that means your periodic signals, addition of the two periodic signals will come out as the periodic signal. And sometimes this cannot be happen, but mostly you can say the sum of the two periodic functions or the sum of the two periodic signals will also be the periodic signal.